For people who are thinking about getting some executive coaching or people who are trying to take their business and their leadership performance to the next level. We wrote this book predominantly for our coaching clients. We thought it might be helpful for them to have reminders of the types of things we talk to them about all the time. So if you're thinking about executive coaching or you've got a team that you're looking to elevate their performance, Why Leaders Fail might be the helpful fit. Most leaders, we found, need to have a clear vision of the future. This is like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. You've got all the pieces together on the table, and if you've got the picture on the box to go by, then you know how the pieces fit together. That's the vision for an organization, and that's what we want leaders to give to their people. This is the book, Why Leaders Fail. Leadership is hard. My co-author, Peter Stark, and I were sitting at a conference and we had seen the news, which profiled several leaders, both in the corporate world and in the political realm, who had failed. And he looked at me and he said, you know, leadership is hard. And I said, it is, it's all consuming if you do it right. So we wrote this book called Why Leaders Fail, based on data collected over 10 years, over 100,000 employee surveys. And then we took those employees' leaders and we surveyed them as well, over 10,000 leaders there. And then we looked at the difference between what employees said and what the leaders said and how the leaders felt they were being perceived by their employees. We got to take all of this data and work it so that the data is usable for people to make their organizations and their self better. So the best part of this book was not just the process of going through all of this material, but it was learning together on how to make organizations better.